Yes, friends, now we will understand about the movements of the Earth's crust. So, as we all know that billions years of ago, the land was the only land and we have the water. It's the only land, like whole land in Greek they call a Pangaea. So, I just show you in the diagram. So, how it was around 220 billion years ago. Our earth was like this with only land, you know, and the water. And this only land or also you can call as a Pangaea. In Greek, a Pangaea means whole land, it's only land. And the water is the Pantalasa. So, this was... Uh, explained by Alfred Wagner who is the meteorologist and geophysicist he has explained the theory of continental drift continental drift is nothing but you know the land plates these plates will collide merge sometimes and also they move so this is about the continental drift that he has explained. So this was the land and the only water around 220 billion years ago. So according to Alfred Wagner, 200 billion years ago, the earth has got drifted into a north part land and the southern part land. So usually we call north part land of this supercontinent now it became with the Laurasia and the southern part which is separated by the inland sea called Tethys Sea. So this is the inland sea. Now if you observe these are the Himalayan mountains now which are existing. Before there was no Himalaya, it was only the Stithi Sea, so which was separated Laurasia and Gondwana. So these are the two parts. Now, if you uh, uh, see that uh, Laurasia, now the composed uh, northern part of the lands, for example, Laurasia is mainly composed of. North America, Greenland and Eurasia. At that time it was the Europe and Asia, Northern Indian part. And that was the, it, Laurasia is composed of, these are the three uh, major uh, continents now we call. Like Eurasia, Greenland, North America. And southern part of the Gondwana is composed of mainly Southern America, South America, part of India and Middle East, Arabia and the Australia. So, you can understand these are the only uh, lands at that time it was. So, later on, this was around 200 billion years ago. And later on, after say 65 years, that means 135 billion years ago, around 135 billion years ago so this continental drift made some of the continents moved some of the continents merged to some extent so likewise you know you have got some existing structures like this so even Indian shape, for example, it was in this condition around 135 billion years ago. So like that, these are the continents are drifted, moved to, you know, here and there. So, and Alfred Wagner has you know, better explained again this continental drift theory and which explains this are the continents, you know, moved uh, from one place to other place and also sometimes merged. 
So now, 10 billion years ago, if you see the Australia's formed. If we discuss about now, the 10 billion years ago, what was the, the position? So at that time, now we got our you know, North American part and South American part and also the Eurasia, again, you got the Europe uh, uh, part and the as usual Africa and the Indian part and you know Asian part and also we got the Australia the other continent so this was the and they were you know if you see and how it is uh, you know we can uh, so scientists have already done the research on this part like the plant species found in this area are you know similar to the, the plant species found in the uh, the African you know, coastal part. So these are the main, you know, uh, which explains that yes, this is happened some billion years of ago. So this was the, you know, uh, the theory uh, better explained by Alfred Wagner. Uh, this is the continental drift. And this is the collision of the continents and the movement of the continents and also merging of the continents. And the Tethys Sea disappeared and the mountains raised and valleys formed and also the basins, the huge basins we call as the oceans now. So these are the, all the oceans and the continents have formed you know, 10 billion years ago. But not the human being again, 